Let's balance the equation for the complete combustion of ethyne, that's C2H2. It's combustion because we have our hydrocarbon here, we have oxygen gas, O2, and we end up with CO2 plus H2O. So for organic combustion, we'll always have a hydrocarbon, oxygen gas, and end up with carbon dioxide and water. Let's balance the equation. I've already counted the atoms up. The only thing to be really careful of, we have two oxygens here, but don't forget the one oxygen with water. That gives us a total of three oxygen atoms. We leave the O2 to last. That's just oxygen atoms. Changing the coefficient here won't change carbons or hydrogens. So we leave this to last. Start with the carbons. Put a two in front of CO2. Two goes to everything. One times two. That'll give us two carbons. Let's update the oxygens now. Two times two, that's four plus the one here. Four plus one. So now we have five. And that's a bit of a problem. The way we solve that is we think two times some number is going to equal five. 2 times 5 over 2, that would equal 5. The 2's would cancel out. So we could put 5 over 2 as the coefficient for the oxygen. And that balances this equation. What we're really interested in when we're looking at reactions is the ratio of the substances that are involved. So for the complete combustion of ethyne, these ratios, they're correct. Some teachers like them to be whole numbers. The way you do that, you just multiply everything by 2. That gives you these coefficients for the complete combustion of ethyne, C2H2. If you want to write the states, they look like this. Note that combustion is an exothermic reaction, so it's going to be hot. The water is going to be a gas, at least initially. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for the complete combustion of ethyne, C2H5 plus O2. Thanks for watching.